Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. The Amefi Basic School in the Doma East District of the Bono region is yet to receive a facelift after persistent complaints. Pupils sit on pieces of wood and cement blocks to learn. The Amenfi Basic School provides formal basic education to pupils from four adjoining communities. Enrollment here is very high, but teaching and learning, which is supposed to be done in a congenial environment, is rather faced with a hurdle owing to a myriad of challenges of the school. A block building accommodating the entire school was blown down by a rainstorm early last year, leaving teachers and pupils stranded. But six months ago, the Amenfi community and the Doma East District Assembly collaborated to improvise so teaching and learning could continue. The current state of the shed provided, however, leaves much to be desired as pupils cannot concentrate in class owing to distractions. Furniture one of the key educational resources is inadequate. Majority of the few available desks are broken and pupils improvise. This is exactly the situation both pupils and teachers have been enduring for years. Kindergarten pupils are confined to a non-spatial shelter without chairs. Eating bowls brought to school by pupils to partake in the school feeding program serve as seats. The community says it is willing to offer support but lack funds. Head teacher in Katia Miriku explained the slow pace at which stakeholders are responding to their plight is impacting negatively on delivering their mandate. The Doma East District Assembly is equally hopeful to solve the furniture situation, which is widespread in the district. Furniture is quite um, challenging. The uh, government recently brought us some desk, but uh, it was way, way, way below uh, the, the quantity that we needed. Assembly is making that effort, um, but um, the budget line is not so huge. The office, which holds books and other property of the school, is not safe. Teachers say they are willing to impact lives of the pupils, but will require stakeholders' support to improve the infrastructure, teaching and learning. Let's remain in the Bono region where residents of Abuabo in the Doma Central Municipality are unhappy with the halting of construction of a cocoa road started by the previous administration. Stanley Niblo reports the road connects Doma Himkru through Abuabo to Inkrankwanta. Most roads undergoing construction before the assumption of power by the government in 2017 were halted. The Doma Ahinkru Abuabu in Kwankanta Road is one of them. The Koko Road was halted at a time when gravel filling and gutter works were done awaiting asphaltic works. Now, the almost completed road is deteriorating at a high pace any time it rains. The development of a number of potholes on the stretch has been a source of worry to many motorists that ply it. Commuters are sometimes left stranded when cars they are traveling in break down. Residents, after several complaints to authorities for the completion of construction works on the road, failed. They have threatened not to partake in the next year's general elections. <laughs> Commercial drivers say they are losing out. Municipal Chief Executive for Doma Central, Drisa Watara, said the due diligence has been done and the contractor, Trades Vishing, is expected to return to site. The government asks that uh, we do proper auditing of all those roads. And uh, per my understanding, um, that road is part of the Cocoa Road that were halted so that we are able to do proper auditing to see whether there was value for money, whether there was a valid contract sign and all those stuff. Now that uh, we are hearing from the Minister of Rose that they are going to make enough releases to make sure that uh, 
our roads are fixed. Um, I want to believe that Abuabu Road, you know, will be done. The name of the contractor is Trade Vision. Um, I've had, you know, one-on-one -on -one chat with him on a couple of occasions. So I'm looking forward that uh, he will read the certificate and then get it honored so that he will come back to site and then work for the good people of Doma. Not only Abuabo, it's a major road, which is a matter of concern to all of us. The construction of the road will boost trade. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to the NIDA, UK Aid and the EU.